your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thank you for joining us for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're wrapping up our study on how to be an effective parent, how to raise godly children in an ungodly world. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the most practical things we can talk about, and that is the fact your children need to know that God is for them. It's a sad thing, the concept that people have in their mind of God, that, that He is uh, just looking for every opportunity to strike us down. No, 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 no. God is a loving God, and He is on our side, and He wants the very best for us. And a great place for us to start would be in the book of 1 John, chapter 4, and join me at verse number 9. In this, the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him. In this is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. That word propitiation means payment or satisfaction. God so much on our side that He sent His Son to die for us, to pay the price for us. As a matter of fact, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 2 is a rather bizarre verse when you stop and you think about it. Listen to verse number 2. And He Himself, that's Jesus, and He Himself is the propitiation, the payment, the satisfaction for our sins, but not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Now this tells us something about the love of God. Now, there is a very bad, horrible, no good doctrine out there that says, no, Jesus didn't die for everyone. 1 John 2 and verse 2 says He did die for everyone. And why would He do that? Because God loves the whole world. That's John 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world, the whole world, that He gave His only begotten Son. You know, one of the things that we need to teach our children is that God is for them. God is a father, but He's not just a father. He is the perfect father. There's some children that they may not understand the concept of a perfect father. But over in Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse 7 and going down through about verse number 11, there Jesus talks about the fact that God is the perfect father. And He loves us and He wants the very best for us. Thank you for being with us for this series. I hope you'll join us again for your daily 180 Bible study.